Good morning. Today we're going to do a twofer. A I'm, go feet. Turn I'm going to do the Cape Cod Rail Trail. Round trip is going to be give or take about 44 miles. Usually you start. Oh, let me get rid of that. All right, let's try again. <laughs> Good morning. Today we're going to do a twofer. I'm going to do the Cape Cod Rail Trail, which round trip is about 44 miles. Turn left onto Winter Street. So that's going to be pushing it for me because the longest I've done on one shot before was 28. But not to uh, outdo myself, I'm really interested in doing this um, province rail trail. I'll have the exact name posted when I, when I remember what it is. But that one at the tail end of the Cape Cod rail trail is about 12 miles further up there's another rail trail and that one uh is the province rail trail and it looks really nice that one's about seven or eight miles so it's not much but you're going through sand dunes and everything else so i thought about what's the best way to approach this and i'm gonna go to provincetown first park out there which from here it's two hours <laughs> yeah i know and and then uh, I'm going to go do that and then drive about 12 miles and park in Wellfleet and then do the Cape Cod Rail Trail from the back end. So I'll go all the way back down to Brewster where it began and then go all the way back up to uh, Wellfleet. And then I'll have about a two hour drive home. <laughs> Wish me luck. So my plan today was to leave around 5, 5.30 a.m. So there would be no risk of traffic since it is a two hour drive and this is Labor Day weekend, it is Friday. So generally if you can leave really early, you won't have to deal with the traffic. As far as leaving the Cape, Sunday obviously is a bad day. This is Labor Day weekend, so Monday would be the bad day, but generally when it comes to rental renters, it's Saturday to Saturday. So Saturday is usually a bad day. So in other words, every day is not a great day to go to the Cape as far as traffic goes uh, around wrapped around the weekends. But you get there early, you should be fine. Uh, I wanted to leave at five. I left around six thirty, and I'm really hopeful for two things. One, I won't hit traffic. And two, I'll find a place to park. I'm using trail... I forget what I'm using, but I'll, I'll write it down, I'm sure. But uh, I'm using this app. I had to pay 30 bucks for it. So, it should be good. <laughs> and it even tells me where I can park. So, I posted... Uh, I, I uh, put in my directions for the first place in Provincetown. And apparently there's a lot of sand dunes there, and I'm looking forward. Well, I know there's a sand dunes there. I've been to Provincetown. I know there are, but I mean, on this bike trail, I've never been. So hopefully it looks as good in person as it did uh, when I looked at it on the internet. So I've never been there. My plan is to do this uh, ride. Should take me no more than maybe 20, 25 minutes or a half hour. We'll see maybe some neat places to stop. Damn, I should have bought a bathing suit. I could go swimming. Oh, I knew I forgot something. I forgot my padded underwear thing too. Oh well. So, I'm going to do that and then after that I'm going to go drive back about 12 miles to Wellfleet and hopefully there's parking there. I know I said it before but Anyways, I'm going to go over the Bourne Bridge in about 20 minutes. I'll show you the Bourne Bridge. And when I head home, I'll be going over the Sagamore. I wish this truck would back up a little bit. I mean, it's kind of close. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, what the hell happened to the sunshine? <laughs>
going to be fun. Nobody wants to let you in ever. Provincetown, the seashore, uh, I forget what it's called, uh, not even sure where the trail is, uh, I'm going to go through there and see what that looks like, but plenty of parking, so that's a bonus. very light for this first ride I'm not even other than a, a Gatorade in the water I got nothing all my bags are back in the car got my GoPro on my phone that's it how you doing this is the actual bike trail right <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not a biking. <laughs> right. I'm definitely not on the bike trail, but this looks pretty cool. So <clears throat> I'll take it from here and eventually I should run into the bike trail. Definitely sandy here. Ooh, a little bit of a workout. Well, we're definitely up high. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that too much. This looks cool. Whoa! I guess technically this is my first sand riding, and it's doing pretty well with the fat, fat out on tires. This is actually not too bad. It's a nice breeze over here from the ocean that's nearby that I can't see. Like I said, no matter what, it's gonna lead into water at some point or lead into the bike trail. It has to. So let's keep going. Uh oh. Hill.
thanks to the GoPro, I can break with two hands. Oh, not too bad. All right. Uh, I'm gonna guess right around the pond. One mile loop. that I thought I was going to. Hmm. How you guys doing? has half the fun on your travels. So parts of this is pretty cool. You know, Gun it up here. Oh, look at all, baby. Here we go. Oh, might have to go lower. Gotta be careful not to use too much of my juice already on this because I'm doing the longer ride shortly and I have no way of recharging this. Boy, this was not what I signed up for <laughs> when I went out here. I wanted something else. But it definitely can ride on the sand, which is cool. Didn't think I could, but it definitely can. This is all sand. This is cool. Whoa, let me slide around a little bit. Let's see. Let's see what the signs say. This definitely looks more of a trail than that other thing. We'll see. my car okay I did a loop <laughs> right, so that's what I ended up doing a loop around All right. now the question is where the hell is the actual trail right. stop for a second GoPro stop recording all right, Province Lands Bicycle Trail. So this gotta be it. Oh, wait a They're going that way, but here it says I can go this way. So let's do this. Much better. 
Now we're talking. Yep, this is more what I wanted. <laughs> okay, paved and everything. Here we are. Hey, at least I know the bike can handle the sand. That was pretty cool. Hey Siri, stop my bike ride. GoPro pause. Guess it doesn't do pause. <laughs> I just want to get the beach part. GoPro pause recording. Nope. Not on that list. Oh, it says I got 24 minutes left of recording. Hopefully that's enough. Here. Oh no. Are you shitting me? Alright, let's do this. Alright, I see sand dunes. Now we're talking. Oh yeah. Look at this damn hill though. Oh god. Oh my god. Come on baby. Come on. Wow, this is spectacular. <laughs> wow, I love this.
<laughs> I'm riding with zero. It's like a, such a longer second ride. I don't want to risk it. Yet. How you guys doing? a little bit. Look how spectacular this place is. There's oceans all around. You just can't see it yet. But we're getting a race point. There's definitely a beach there.
want to go on the beach? I don't, I don't know, honestly. But there's a bike rack up there, I think. I just want to see it. <laughs> Let's see. This is the beach, but I'm not getting off the bike to go there. There's the beach. For race point, I should have gone Herring Cove. best. GoPro stop recording. juice on your bike and just use it for the hills this is one of the best places I've ever been now that I know where I am it's just so beautiful I think I said that just about with every trail but this is legit this is not that the others were but I mean damn you got sand dunes you got ocean trees not that crowded this is paved Except for that mistake I did earlier, but I'm glad I did. At least I know I can literally ride on the sand. That was pretty cool. Uh, all right, let's see. I know there was a sign here somewhere. I'm gonna have to stop recording because I'm almost out of space, and I left my other SD card in the in the car. I'm saving that for the uh, the Cape Cod Rail Trail. Uh, oh, Herring Cove's here, right? Nice. How you doing? All right, Herring Cove's 
only a mile away. Let's do a tunnel. Yeehaw. GoPro, stop recording. Estimated this trail. This is amazing. It's a lot more than meets the eye. Oh, look. And all these hills. Oh, my God. Continue for three miles. Okay, leaving Herring Cove. By beach. And I'm going back to the car. Whew, this was probably the most workout. This was more of a workout than when I did the uh, 28 mile. And this one I. Let's see. This one's only seven miles that I did, and I, I, I'm exhausted. The hills are amazing. So I'm back on the trail. This SD card's gonna run out in a few minutes. <clears throat> so I'm gonna power it off and get back to the car and use my buck 32 or buck 28. For the Cape Cod Rail Trail, <laughs> if I got anything left in the tank, this was awesome. But uh, I would never, ever do this trail without my Rad Rover because those hills, I, I literally would have to get off. I actually had to get off for one of them. It was just way too much. And in a minute or two, 
I'll be going down that hill, so that'll be fun. <laughs> but I'll see you when I get to the car. for a shot yeah I know it's a hill holy shit is this a hill this is it maybe there's enough to show it So I must have taken a left, I think. So I must have been at Bennett Pond. That's where I think I parked. I'm still about just under two miles from the car. Yeah, I'm lost. I don't know where my car is. I went to a trail that I thought was it and it was a dead end. So I have to figure this out. Well, good news. I found way, my way back. Yeah, this is definitely it. Okay, we did this in 78 minutes, 10.79 miles. I don't know if you could see it, I'll see it. Because let me tell you, this one was a grueling one with the with the hills. 
but uh without a doubt the most beautiful of them all the sand dunes were spectacular um it wasn't even an issue of crowdedness even though it's labor day weekend uh plenty of parking um not really for buying things along the way and i'll see if there's enough energy left in me to do the cape cod rail trail according to my battery it's still plenty of juice but i did see it at times drop down a notch because i had these massive hills and i had to use pas5 on it i've been basically riding on four three and five the whole way because there's so many hills but it's just absolutely amazing my gopro ran out on the sd card but that's okay i got a buck 28 ready to roll for the other one so this was a province land bike bicycle trails or trail absolutely one of my all-time favorites and i've only done a few but uh come on sand dunes <laughs> beach very you know foresty hills it was, it was quite a workout um five stars thumbs up double thumbs up this is great good workout um there were places where you can lock down your bike and take a swim uh it was not crowded plenty plenty of parking not an issue did i see park benches no but who cares <laughs> great place i will come back again but with the thought in mind that this is the only trail I'm going to do that day. So I wouldn't have to conserve as much of my battery. Because there were times when I really needed to punch it. Because it was just, the hills were just a lot. And it would have been a little better for me if I kept it at somewhere between 2 and 4 most of the way. Instead of 0 and 1. But it was great. Love it. On to the next bike trail. Heading towards Wellfleet. I should be there in about 20 minutes. And then the epic. It says 27 miles. I heard 22 miles. And this is just one way. So I'm anticipating it's somewhere in the 40s round trip. And I already did, I think, 12. I don't know what I did. But uh, it definitely used up more juice than I wanted it to. But... If I find that um, that I'm down to about two, I'm just going to turn around and then try again another day because I got nothing left in the tank if I have to do it at zero the whole way. That's for, that's for sure. But on my way to Wellfleet, let's see what happens.